Do you want to make YouTube thumbnails directly on your Android phone? If so, you're in the right place. My name is Matt Parr. I run nine different YouTube channels. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube thumbnails directly on your Android phone. So first and foremost, you're going to need to download an app called Pixel Lab. So you can find Pixel Lab directly within the Google Play Store. And once you have it downloaded on your device, then we can open it. So as you can see, I have Pixel Lab installed right here. Let's open it up right here. And now I'm going to show you exactly how to make a thumbnail. So what you're going to want to do, first of all, is click these three dots in the top right corner. And then you're going to want to click image size right here. And in there, you'll see that there's actually a preset, if you select presets right there, for YouTube thumbnails right there. As you can see, YouTube thumbnails you can select right there. And this will automatically set your thumbnail to 1280 by 720, which is the correct size for making YouTube thumbnails all directly within this app. And then you can just click OK. And as you can see, it's resize our image to be 1280 by 720, perfect for being uploaded to YouTube. So now that we've done this, we're going to want to add an image. And to do this, we can do this by simply clicking the on the top left corner right here, clicking this little plus icon right here. And if we click that, and then we can select from gallery. And this will actually allow us to upload an image from our gallery. So let's choose this image right here, as you can see. And then you can actually crop this image however you want using this little slider right here, as you can see. But let's just do it just like that. And then we can just click this little check mark on the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, the image has been imported. And then we can drag it to make sure it fits the entire screen. You can make it any size you want, as you can see. But let's make let's drag it and crop it correctly just like so. So then to make sure that you don't accidentally mess with the background image and to make sure that you don't accidentally move it around as you're editing the image, what you're going to want to do is click this button in the top right hand corner, this little layer icon right there. And you're going to want to lock the layer that has the image on it. This will make sure that as you're editing your photo within this app, that you won't accidentally move it around as you're editing it. So once you have that done, you'll see there's actually another default layer that's a text layer right here. So we can actually move that layer up because we're going to want that layer to be above the other layer. So then we can add text on top of that image. So once we've done that, we can then hide that little menu right there. And as you can see, now we can edit the text. We can move it around without moving around the background, which is super cool. So now let's edit this text to say something else. And to do this, all we have to do is hit this little text button right here on the bottom of the screen. And then we can simply select edit and you can make this text say whatever you want. So let's make it say make money YouTube. There we go. And once we have that done right there, we can just select OK. And as you can see, the text now is on the screen just like so. And now that we have our text on the screen, what I like to do is actually choose from one of these specific styles. And you can actually edit the size as well and the padding and the color, opacity and the font and all that kind of stuff if you want. But in my case, I always like to use this little styles thing right here and then select browse. And then as you can see, there's actually a bunch of default styles. I like this style right here a lot. I think it's really good for YouTube thumbnails. As you can see, you can just select that style and it automatically makes the text in that style. And then you can resize it just by clicking and dragging on the corner of the text right there. So let's say we want to put this text right there that looks good and then let's say we want to add a background on the text and to do that we simply open up the text menu that we already have open right here and then we can select a background for the text and if we select that then it will automatically put a background on the text like so let's just make this a little bit bigger here move it to the side looks good and you can select the color of the background all that kind of stuff I think black looks good right there. So as you can see, this actually looks like a great thumbnail right off the bat. And let's say maybe we want to change the color of the text. So then we can select the text and then go over to color. And then we can select whichever color we want. Maybe red will look good. Let's see what that looks like. Red looks pretty good. Let's see what green looks like maybe. Maybe like a bright green. Boom, as you can see, just like that, we've made a thumbnail directly on our Android device. And there's a bunch of different things that you can do with this app as well. As you can see, you can draw a shape. You could put red circles or arrows or anything like that on your thumbnail as well. But as you can see, it looks very good. And actually, let's change the size of the background a little bit before we finish with this. And again, to do that, all we have to do is select our layers. And then we'll select this layer right here. And we'll want to unlock it if we are going to actually change the size. And now we should actually be able to change the size of the background. So as you can see, here's the background right here. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. And then as you can see, it fits a little bit better. Let's make it the default size. There we go. And as you can see, 
that looks much better. So as you can see, we've made an entire thumbnail directly on our phone. And when it comes time to actually export your thumbnail so you can upload it to YouTube, all you simply have to do is click the save button on the top right here, and then you can actually just save this as an image. And you can choose the format of the image, the dimensions. I recommend just keeping everything the same and then simply selecting save to gallery and boom, the thumbnail was saved to our gallery. So now it's actually ready to be uploaded to YouTube. And if you wanna discover how to upload YouTube thumbnails directly from your phone to your YouTube videos, then check out this video right here. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to upload your thumbnails directly from your phone. So you don't have to transfer them onto the computer or anything like that. You can actually upload YouTube thumbnails directly from your phone. And I show you the best way of doing it in this video right here. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching everybody. My name is Matt Parr and I'll see you in the next video.